Hey everyone, welcome to episode 61. Jesus Christ, this was, uh, do the math. Three episodes. I've been doing this for three, three episodes a week. Get to 60. I've done it for 300 weeks. That's, that's amazing. I never thought I would actually make it this far playing this game. I'd like to thank, um, my mom, God for giving me the talent and ability to do this and I want to say Sandra I'm coming home you better you better uh not have uh, stolen my car I, this is dumb I never got a chance to say my acceptance speech for becoming a successful football player or any sports player for that matter because I never got past uh well, this is Brazil, so I don't know what else this is going to be. I never got past playing high school football because even if I was good, what I played and what I, like, as as a person, if I was even if I was really good, I'm, I was way too short to play offensive line. Like, if you look at what offensive linemen got to be, they're, they're just, like, genetic towers of just muscle and meat and just seven foot monsters who have to run like the 40 yard dash in 40 four seconds i forget what the math is it sounds more like four four forty that i hear that sometimes when i'm on sports when i hear sports on the radio i have no idea where in brazil this is so maybe not on a major thoroughfare so maybe i'll click like here and this is just Complete crapshoot. This could be here, this could be here, that could be there. So maybe I'll just do it when we're in Toktanis. Toktantins, whatever. But, yeah, when I when I played, I was the second slowest uh, person on the team. Consistently beating one other person who was about a foot and a half taller than me and was a massive dick, but I'll go into that real quick because he likes to pull my hair out in math class. I never understood why I did it because he probably thought it was funny. But uh, he, he he was a weird guy. I think he was a marine biologist now. I really don't know. He was, he was weird in high school. At least weird to me. I don't know if like anybody else who dealt with him had the same issue, but he uh, was not very fast and he was always called for holding penalties and he did not enjoy being called for that. But enough about him. I was a guard. And I only got to play on, like, varsity my senior year. We were a small enough school, there were no cuts. It just meant that you stood on the sideline for three of the four, well, two, three of the four years. Yeah, the, the freshmen had their own football team as well, but, nope. Um, it was on freshman football, was not good on that. And then it was just sophomore year, sat on the sideline, did nothing. Junior year, I think I got in for a game, caught a, sh where I played football, like we the 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 talent pool so to speak um it was it was an adventure whether or not we anybody was going to score a uh extra point that's how bad we were it was always just like oh maybe we will maybe we won't and then everyone would clap because hey we uh kicked an extra point and then no one really ever passed it was just running just because it was Whenever he did throw passes, it, it was it was it was interesting to see if it actually was going to happen. I'm not like denigrating anybody who actually ended up playing uh, quarterback, just because you know I was just some offensive lineman. I had it real easy. Like I'm I'm sure this is not how it's actually run at all nowadays or in any other like school. Uh, okay, whatever. We were up there. In any school, hey, now we're gonna check Russia off the map, cause GeoGuessr. But the way the way it worked was, um, all right. So in between each one of the people on the offensive line, they, I don't know if it's like this way. No, this is not Russia. This is Scandinavia. I don't know if it was this way for other places. It's poor, poor new, huh? Uh, there's no umlauts or accents anywhere, so I still don't know where we are, or in this area. And uh, yeah. So, uh, even numbers, two, four, six, 
maybe eight, were on the left-hand side of the uh, the offensive line, and then odds were the other side. And they could see... How did I end up here? I didn't click this. What the fuck happened? I'm in the middle of a field. Alright, I just teleported there somehow. Um, come on. Okay, thank you. And... Alright, so the play called for it to between, be in between the uh, center and the guard, me. And that's where the guy on the defensive side lined up. And Alright, so what I would have had to do in a perfect world... Why does it keep doing this? Would be to uh, step quickly to the right and then push him back to the left to maintain where he was supposed to be. But... That wouldn't happen. I just like, eh, it's easier just to push him off to one direction. Okay. Okay. Why does he keep doing this? I'm going to stop trying and go the other way because I can take a hint. So, yeah, was, everyone else had to memorize plays. I was just like, all right, push him this way, push him that way. And then also being the uh, slow, one of the slowest people on the field, I never had to do anything like pulling, which was like, one from run from one side of the line to the other. It's complicated football shit, and really, it's kind of boring. Even for those who watch football, uh, just the school had to deal with the talent pool they had, and everyone else graduated. So, like, all right, I guess we're stuck with you, and we'll throw you into this position. All right, you can't run very fast. We're not going to make you do one of the key things that guards have to do and pull will just uh you just you just stay put and just don't let up any sacks or uh do any holding calls and thankfully i never did any of those I, that i had a holding call on me that i did not believe and i really wish i didn't bother remembering that stuff because it was so long ago yeah right to kavara i feel here. Maybe here. We'll see. It's just kind of an ambiguous Scandinavia area, and I have not seen a road, and fucking, come on, get around the turn. But I only kind of felt obligated to do that just because my dad played football, and he was real good at it in, uh, when he was in school, and I was nothing like him as far as the sports one. I just kind of was like, yeah, he wants me to, I will. Then I also did golf, which was a complete 180 in the form of, like, actual practices compared to football. It's like, I hated practice just because it was a lot of running. I hated running, obviously, being the second slowest person. That'll happen. So it was real nice to go um, driving in my car to the driving range for golf practice and hit balls at the driving range for free while driving past everybody in the baseball team running around, sweating their asses off, doing runs. They're like, ah, it sucks to be you. I just play golf for free. I get to play some really awesome courses in the state. All for free. Hey, look, I got real close. How, how, oh, there, that's, that's real, uh, there's, that was just this dart. Thrown dart. Oh. I was almost going to say we're checking off every box, but since that was not Russia... We're two or three, where we, uh... So, we are driving this way, which means we are not in America, which is probably Australia. The only problem is... Australia is another massive country. If you don't know, it's a country continent. Continent. Yeah, we're driving on this side. Why am I being dumb? Yeah. When we drive on this side, in the U.S., we're on this side. Fucking stop overthinking it. You're an idiot. And, um... I'm just clicking as fast as I can, hopefully, again, following the strategy of eventually maybe I'll get some decent quality photo. I doubt it. But, uh, here we go. Again on our own. Going down the only road that's provided. Like a drifter... I need glasses to see where I'm going. Because I made up my mind. All this is is wasting so much time. Here we go again. 
this is nothing here. If this turns out to be England, I'm going to be very miffed, upset, peeved, annoyed. I thought those were two floating men. Like, we were going to see some alien shit like you would in that Death Stranding trailer that came out a while ago. This is a river of some sort. We'll never know. I'm going to save her over here. Just because it doesn't look like there. <laughs> my my qualifications. Hey, this is a little better. Just because we have the sun right in our face, I guess. Something Valley. Um, Sign? Oh, we watch out for rocks. Yeah, that shit sucks. If you ever uh, drive on the road and... You don't drink coffee. Just have someone have a rare stray pebble hit you. Oh, finally. See? Eventually. Click enough. We're going to get good quality. The Woodburn Casino, huh? Uh, Woodburn Lismore, huh? Yeah, I'll go this way. Maybe I'll get a road sign. Give me a highway. It's speed limit 80. Kilometers. I think that's what those signs mean. But nothing scares you, wakes you up, and pisses you off more. Lions Club, huh? They have them here in uh, Australia? I didn't know that. I thought that was just kind of like an American thing. Although there's palm trees here. And now I'm more concerned that this might not be Australia. Kirkians. That doesn't help me. That sign doesn't. I have a minute. Um, I don't know if people in Australia really ever uh, put flags up anywhere. It's British Petroleum. That's BP. I think. Yeah, it is. Um, if this is not Australia, what could it be? Somewhere where they... It's a historic hotel on the river. Up oh, yep, there's the flag. So, the problem here is... Under, um, identifying if this is Australia because they all in the South Pacific there have like the same Union Jack with blue and a bunch of stars and whatnot. This turns out to be like Fiji or something. I'm going to be very upset. Well, Fiji I don't think has that flag on it. Picnic area, shopping center, boat ramp, toilets, huh? Can we, can we go this way? Yes, we can. And Jesus... That almost timed it where I clicked it, and it, uh, the, the trans, what is the word? Yeah, transferred to this. It would have been cool if I timed that better, but I didn't. I got lucky with guests. It's two in a row here. Uh, hello, Scandinavia again. So we're just bouncing all over the map. Go, eh, eh, and then back here, it's like they're playing tennis with each other. Uh, let's see. Just seeing if I can't see a flag. That's kind of a flag, but... Sweden! Alright, so we've got this... We got the country. Thank you, patriotic... Uh, person. Uh, I don't want to say we've been here before, because that would just, like, demean everybody. Hey, Sweden, everything looks the same. No, that's just mean. Can't say that. But going back to the golf thing, it was it's, it was one of the pluses, the major pluses of uh, playing golf in school is you got to play all these really nice golf courses in the state for free. I mean, I would never be, like, even now there's a couple of them I probably would not be able to afford and they're pretty uh, prestigious for what they are. They're like, hey, this is normally 60 to $90 to play this course, but since... The local school has decided, has determined to make this the uh, home field, as as it were, for the school. Uh, you guys play here for free. All right, great, cool. We'll do that. And I was I was terrible at golf, so um, every little chance I got, I I, I I took it. I was I was not very good at sports, but I still play. Plenty of golf. That's that's a sport you can play until you're like 90, and kind of arguably you could get better the older you get, just because you're not as flexible when you get older. So your your swing becomes more mechanic, mechanical, and stiff, and 
When a robot can do your swing one-handed, Gumboda, huh? We'll just click here again and see if we're right. So I doubt I'm going to see Gumboda anywhere here. So realistically, if you don't know anything about golf, you really could just play a one-handed. Just watch that. There's a robot that does golf swings that tests out golf clubs. And there's even people who are one-handed or one-armed who can actually still play the game. So it can be done. The only problem is there's about 6,000 things in a swing that you can do to mess up that can cause your ball to go a million different places other than where you want it to go. And that's just part of the fun, I guess. I mean, granted, I think I mentioned this before. Another plus of it was uh, being able to just bring drinks out into the course in high school and get drunk while you're playing golf as far away from the clubhouse as you can. You keep them stored in your golf bag, pull them out, drink one real fast, play the, play the hole. And that was spring slash summer for me whenever I would be in high school. It was great golfed pretty much every day of the week had a handicap card i was not good i think my handicap was like a 12 or a 9 maybe it wasn't great might have been 15 i don't even remember this point i'm just kind of like throwing numbers out and that just what all that handicap means is uh if you're playing somebody else who's really good say their handicap is zero and yours is 10 um they would have to Let's see if I can do the math here. Whoa, Jesus. I was lucky guess again. Uh, so say they have a they have a zero handicap, you have a 10. If you shoot a 90 and they shoot an 80, you guys break even. Thank you, Russia. What a way to end it. Because since he's 80 and you're a 90, that's 10. So you're given 10 strokes. That's how the handicap thing works. And uh, I guess to put it in perspective, also PGA people like when Tiger Woods was like amazing and winning every single. Uh, can I see what's on? Cause is your shirt gonna tell me anything? Votes. So maybe this isn't Russia. It might not be. But uh, Tiger Woods, when he was amazing, I think his handicap was like minus two or three it might have been more i don't know that just means that automatically he was oh we're at the end here if this turns out to just be a strip of road i'm going to be very upset because i said votez that was not in cyrillic so that makes me feel like this may not be russia this is about as russia as it feels like he can get but there's a sign here that is going to help me Okay, this is not, although they say magazine, which I believe is a thing they also call stores in Russia. Now, I'm a bit confused. Um, Let's see, there's a church, and there's the steeple. You open the doors, there's all the people. What's on your shirt? Don't run away. That looks creepy. Is that like a... What is on his shirt? Like a banana with a hood and he's assaulting an apple? I gotta I gotta see. Can I can I see your shirt more? Oh man. No, you're not helping me. You look angry, lady. You got her hands on her head, like, what are they doing? What is this language? Alright, we're gonna find here. Uh Okay, this feels more uh, this area could be Slovakia, although this doesn't feel like Slovakia, because what, because of this thing, this fucking transformer that just disappeared. Oh, we got, we got signs. Sat Koltu, and the other thing is this also could be Turkish, but that is Roman Catholic, I believe, and they are Greek. Orthodoxy? It's been a while since I knew. 
give me a sign that's just crosswalk. Okay. I got a minute left. This one's going to be, this one's hard. I mean, the other ones, like with Brazil, yes, I know it's Brazil. It's just a matter of narrowing it down. This is completely different where it's, hmm. I mean, I see f colors here that make it feel like it's Ukraine, but that also could just be somebody's artistic aesthetic where they just like those two colors, combine them together. 40 seconds. I gotta make a guess. It's real sunny. This could be Turkey, although, oh, well, here we go. Here we go. This may help. Voda. 20 seconds. Shit. Shit. Give me, give me, hit me back. I gotta make a guess off of this. Skoala Postilakala. I see no. I see no URL on here. So, Voda. I kind of feel like. Is it Serbia? This is probably Turkey, but I'm going to say Serbia. How, how far off? Oh, it's Romania. Oh, it's right on the border with Moldova, huh? Okay. Fucking Google, stop. This is Gros Tezki, Iazi County, huh? All right, well, whatever. This this is a very uh, strange part. Of I'm going to five-star just because it's one I haven't seen before. That one's a That one was a tough one. I mean, I just threw a dart at the general area and landed there. So what's my summary? 18,000, huh? I got the state, state country right on all of them except for the last one. That one, that was an acceptable challenge because it wasn't Russia, it's massive, where the hell is it? Those are the kinds that I like. Not, not where it's just like, yeah, I got the country. It's just, it's, I got two points because it's 8 billion miles long, but... I've made that complaint enough times that you're probably sick of it, because I'm kind of tired of saying it myself. That's just what the game is. i got to accept it at some point. But that's what happens when you hit random. Random is random. And uh, that's going to do it for us today, folks. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have any more tips about discerning this set part of the area, I mean, a lot of it is the language and just being able to tell what letters have what accents and what don't. But, hey... Uh, any tips are appreciated. Uh, but for everyone here, uh, we're going to thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you on Wednesday when we come back for some GeoGuessr. Or if you want to check out our uh, Uncharted series we got going, that'd be appreciated too. But either way, have a good day. We'll talk to you again real soon.